when you inform the mother of the department's intention to remove the child immediately, what was her reaction? Um, she remained calm, uh, fairly unemotional. She, she was eerily calm. And what do you mean by eerily calm? Um, I, I just, I, I really took note of it because, um, you know, typically a, a mother would be very upset about her child being removed. Did you find Cindy Matthews to fully cooperate with the police? She talked to us, but she, we got the feeling she wasn't giving us the entire truth. And did you find Wesley Matthews to fully cooperate with the police? Again, he talked, but his story was, didn't seem to hold out. They have each failed to protect the children in their home that the father has told many lies. The department is not required to make reasonable efforts to make it possible for the child to safely return to the child's home, makes the findings required and requested for aggravated circumstances. That's all for the record. I am disappointed, but I certainly understand the court's decision based upon the evidence before the court. I'd say we're disappointed, but we're not surprised. Given the aggravating nature of this case, such a finding tonight. It's always best to take whatever measures you can to protect the children. Did Wesley Matthews accidentally kill Sharon Matthews? Well, I think an accident occurred and the child passed away. I don't prefer you to use your word of killing. That implies an intentional act. It was not intentional. An accident occurred and that's all there is to it. Let them prove otherwise.